In this video, we're going to attempt to decide which of these equations is a function or is not a function. The way we decide if something's a function is it has, at most, one output for any input. Typically, we think about the y's as the outputs, and so what we're really asking is, does this equation guarantee exactly one solution for y, given a value of x? In other words, let's solve these equations for y, and see if it equals only one value, or if the y equals two different <laughs> values. Let's solve the first equation. We want to get the y alone, so let's start by getting rid of the 3x squared, whoops, by subtracting 3x squared from both sides. This gives us negative y equals negative 3x squared plus 5. Be careful, they're not like terms. We can't combine the negative 3 and 5. Still have to clear the negative. That really is negative 1 times y, so we'll divide each term by negative 1, and that gives us y is equal to positive 3x squared minus 5. Notice there is only one thing that the y equals. y equals whatever 3x squared minus 5 is. Because that's the only thing that y equals, we will say, yes, this is a function, because there's only one thing that y equals. So the question becomes, how could y equal more than one thing? Well, let's look at the second example. y squared minus x equals 5. Let's solve this equation for y. Again, we want to isolate the y, so we'll start by adding x to both sides, giving us y squared equals x plus 5. Notice they're not like terms. We cannot combine them to 5x. 5x means 5 times x, not 5 plus x. And then to get rid of the square, we take the square root of both sides. However, whenever we get rid of an even exponent, we recall that there is always a plus or minus in front of the square root on the other side. In other words, y is either equal to the positive square root of x plus 5, or y is equal to the negative square root of x plus 5. Notice there are two possible values for y, one from the positive and one from the negative. Because we have two possible values, we will say, no, this is not a function. To be a function, you can only have one possible value when we solve for y, like we did in the first equation. To determine if an equation is a function, the quick and easy way we can decide is to solve the equation for y. If there's only one possible value for y, it is a function. If there's more than one, it is not a function.